Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have what I melted from the vendor Super Tarts for all of 2020. So before we go any further, I did change my nails up a bit. It's kind of a deep blood red. And this nail polish is another one of those Essie Gel Couture colors and it's in color number 350 Talk About Really quickly about Super Tarts. Um, they are a brand, a vendor, a small business, a uh, woman owned in Washington State, United States. And Super Tarts is one of my favorite vendors uh, that I have ever purchased from and I will continue to purchase from yeah. them. Follow her on Facebook, it's probably the most active place that Brandy the owner uh, is and where you can talk to other people and ask the questions. So with Super Tarts, I have purchased in the past full loaves, I have purchased BAM bags which I will go through when we, when we show you loads and loads of clamshells as well as i have participated and i think this was my past my third third or fourth year i can't recall of her wax advent calendars that she does so yeah so let's just get cracking i in. thought i'd start with jaws so you're gonna see themed names and she has changed some of the names and some of the packaging this is the newer packaging when i get to the older stuff which i do have i will show you obviously it has changed it's a little bit more clear to read the um, the set note descriptions and that. So Jaws was themed from the movie Jaws. And Jaws itself is a blend of sea salt, ozone, seagrass, plum, and pear. Fantastic, it's gorgeous, with super tarts. One cube is all you need and in a warmer. It usually doesn't even matter what size room, like you could probably keep that wax melt in there for days and you'd still get the smell. You know, as long as you didn't become anosmic to it and like, you know, leave the room or leave the house if, you can, if you're allowed and then come back to that kind of thing. Jaws is fantastic. It's one of my husband Nelson's favorite scents. He just, he even knows, he's like, oh, what's that smell? Is that one of those shark smell, shark melts? That's what he calls it. So Jaws is a favorite for me and for Nelson. And um, I love this one. So the ones I'm going to show you next are flankers. So it has all of these notes here that I just mentioned in Jaws plus one extra note to make it their own. Part of the jaws is Chrissy's remains. So again, sea salt, ozone, seagrass, plum, pear, and sponge sugar. It's gorgeous. I melt all of these jaws blends in the bathroom. So just so you guys know, that's where I melt them in. Again, one cube is all you need. We have chomper, which is sea salt, ozone, seagrass, plum, pear, and mac apple. Very, very good. Amity Island, sea salt, ozone, seagrass, plum, pear, rosemary, and fresh mint make this one its unique blend. Get out of the water sea salt, ozone, seagrass, plum, pear, and strawberry. Ellen, sea salt, ozone, seagrass, plum, pear, and pink sugar. And the last one in the Jaws blend that I have is Brody's Bounty. This is sea salt, ozone, seagrass, plum, pear, and blackberry. And I will say that the blackberry blend or oil that Brandy uses in her melts is fantastic. It's not a perfumey blackberry. It's a really nice sweet tart mixture of, of blackberry. So it's regardless, um, needless to say, I would repurchase and have repurchased any of the Jaws blends that you just saw today. Next up, we have Mary Jane Watson, which is peach, cherry blossom, white jasmine, and pink sugar. And this was really, really nice. Now, whenever I have um, like this type of notes, I tend to melt these normally in the bathroom just to like, freshen it up. I like it. It wouldn't necessarily be a repurchase. It's not a bad thing at all. I really enjoyed it. It's just not something I would just go run out and get more of. I love this one. This has been a repurchase for me a couple times now. It's called Mystique and it's pink sugar and shaving cream. And when, whenever I have shaving cream mixed, I generally blend anything with shaving cream, blend in it in the bathroom as well. It's so This good. is hands down one of my favorite melts. And it obviously, like I said, this is a repurchase and it would be a repurchase. Oh, Deadpool, played by our favorite Canadian, eh? His, his brother was an RC, or is an RCP officer and he used to work in the office I used to work in. Um, so anyway, this is Strawberry and Satsuma. Really nice. Again, it's one of those picks. I wanted to try it out for myself to see if I would like it. I like it. Really nice, but I don't know if it's something that I would reach for even in like the summer months. Um, I like this one, but it probably wouldn't be a, um, you know, a repurchase for me in the near future. In her happy place.
Jessica Jones is Blackberry and Rain. I like this one. It took me a little bit to get into this one. I've purchased it once before. Um, rain scents can be, yeah, rain scents sometimes, it really depends on the oil. I either like it or I don't. I did enjoy it this time, but it is mixed with one of my favorite oils from Brandy and that's Blackberry. So again, a fresh scents like rain, this was melted in the bathroom. Again, one cube is all you need. So 100% this has been a repurchase and it will be a repurchase in the future. One of my oldest melts and I finally got through it and you're gonna see some more. I was really trying to use up a lot of my older wax this year and there, you know, I do date these back. This is from 2017, October 4th, 2017. So yeah, it's really mushy. They do get a little bit mushy over time, but I'll tell you right now, it doesn't do anything to the throw. It does so well, you guys. You wouldn't even know <laughs> that it was smushy or that was that old. Um, I enjoy this one. I melted this one in the fall. This is described as fresh fallen leaves, fireside, and vanilla bean Noel. Wow, I love this one. And again, it's one of those ones I do in the bathrooms because of that shaving cream, but this is Bridget Jones. This is Harvest Ale and Shaving Cream, but I specifically save this one for the fall months because of that Harvest Ale. It really does smell like a fall ale. And then that shaving cream smells so good. It, sm it smells so good, you guys. Like it's totally all things like a fall-esque. There's a bit of spices, you know, that a little bit of apple, and but then there's that shaving cream. It's so good. This has been a repurchase and it absolutely will be a repurchase in the future. So we got a couple, I'm just gonna show you. This is one of some of the older uh, labels here versus the newer ones. So both of these are called, we got Gollum and we got Lord of the Melt. So we're gonna start with Gollum. So Gollum is Ocean Breeze, Red Apple, Vanilla Bean, and Blackberry. This is beautiful. This has been a repurchase of mine. Again, you can sort of tell, well, this is definitely, I definitely melt this one in the bathroom. You're gonna, a lot of them I'm just showing you now at the beginning are all bathroom scents. Trust me when I say that's not gonna be the case in the future, but I really do enjoy this. Has been a repurchase, will be a repurchase. Then we go on to the Lord of the Melts when in Arwen. This is Magically Delicious and Cotton Candy Frosting. This is delicious. I will say though, I find the longer you let this sit, like if you just order it, it's one thing if you get um, a D-Stash, you purchase a D-Stash from and it's a little bit older already, melt away. But I find with Arwen, the longer it sits in here, the better off it is, the more rich it becomes. So I love both of these, so very strong. They both have been repurchases and definitely would be in the future. From the lovely Golden Girls collection, we have Blanche. And out of the three Golden Girls that she had on the website at the time, this is my favorite, Blanche. So this has been a repurchase, will be a repurchase, uh, bathroom melt again. Uh, this is laundry, fizzy grapes, geranium, patchouli, sweet musk, and lollipops. It's beautiful. I absolutely love this one. Um, it, like I said, I will buy this one again in the future. Then we have Poppins. Soft laundry, orange, pear, jasmine, chiffon musk, and vanilla orchid. Love this one. And you can probably tell because of the laundry scent. I did melt this one in the bathrooms. Um, so I really do enjoy this. I would definitely purchase this again in the future. Janine, laundry, mac, apple, pink chiffon. I like this one a lot. I wouldn't say I love it, but I like it. Um, I think it's, for me, it's the laundry scent that stands out to me. Cause again, Brandy does a really great laundry scent. Um, like white clouds is also very good from her. Anything blended with white cl clouds, I tend to like. I really love this one. Again, bathroom melt because of that laundry, but the blend itself, fantastic. I've definitely purchased this in the future. Toodles, <laughs> ice lemonade, lollipops, and laundry. This is really good. The only problem with this particular blend is that I bought this because I want laundry to stand out, but basically in the order you see the writing is in exactly the order and strength down to the weakness of what I smell when I melt this. So I pretty much don't get a lot of laundry I might get lollipops, but I might get mistaken for the very powerful iced lemonade. So I decided that I wouldn't repurchase Toodles. Um, if the laundry just crept, crept up a bit more, I think I would enjoy it a little bit more. It's definitely lovely. It's uh, zesty, citrusy, beautiful, but it's not necessarily a scent that I feel like I can go out and just buy more of, but it's very enjoyable. So if you like these types of notes, just note that the laundry note doesn't come up in this one as much. So 
probably not going to be a repurchase for me, but I don't hate it. Another very old melt. This came, <laughs> this moved all the way from one coast to the other with us. As you can see here, it was stacked on top of other melts and it just, you know, over So time. this is supposed to read Nightmare Before Christmas and it's described as herbal lavender, sweet candy canes, and fluffy uh, cotton candy. It's enjoyable, but I almost wish that the Nightmare Before Christmas would be kind of like what Lush does with the, what they used to do with the night, um, the Christmas Eve bubble bar is you make it super relaxing. So even if you're a kid, you want to relax a bit, try to get them to go to sleep before Santa comes or like as an adult, if you're like me, you love Christmas. I get excited anyway. No kid needed in this house. <laughs> I am one. So, um, I don't know. I think with the name of this, I would have changed, I would have used a different blend, more of a sleepy time blend, but it's lovely. Um, the herbal lavender just isn't super strong. I think that's probably where, I think it's because the candy canes and the cotton candy kind of creep up in the forefront that I would have rather it been a little bit more relaxing, I guess. But anyway, that's just me. It wouldn't be a repurchase. I don't hate it, but it wouldn't be a repurchase for me. This is in Fake and Bake and you can totally fake it until you make it with a scent. Like you can seriously trick people into thinking you were baking something in your home. It's just, just yummy. So this writing is super, super small. It's blending zucchini bread, our signature uh, sugar cookie and our sweet cream fragrance. 42 years old and don't need reading glasses yet, but these little labels, these old ones are making me feel very old. Anyway, <laughs> they've changed the labels. This is great, you guys. Um, it has been a repurchase in the past for me. I definitely would purchase this in the future. I have quite a bit in my stash. Um, I just really, really do enjoy this, especially if you're craving a gourmand scent, um, non-chocolatey gourmand, but this is really, really lovely. Definitely purchase this in the future. yippee ki yay <laughs> sugar cookies, pine needles. We melted this one on Christmas morning. This is a great scent. Um, it's just not one of those scents that you think would work, but it totally does. I will say brandy is a very, very great blender. Um, so it works. It's just enough outdoorsy, but just like you brought cookies, baked, freshly baked sugar cookies into a forest. It's beautiful. Um, what a great balance between a freshy and a gourmand scent. This is wonderful. This has been a repurchase for me and it will be a repurchase in the future. Okay, so we got Flame Princess and I would normally say I would repurchase this except the fizzy pop. Fizzy pop is what would get me to hook, line, and sinker purchase this again in the future. Again, it's just one of those, you know, citrus different uh, fragrances, not a, you know, no big deal, but you throw effervescent pop in there, fizzy pop, I'm all over this. This is really great in the summer months, or if I'm more of a seasonal melter myself, but there are many people who, you know, if you want to get out of the winter funk and you want to put something nice and bright and summery in, do it, why not? So uh, tangerine, toasted marshmallows, and fizzy pop absolutely would repurchase, especially because of that fizzy pop. This one needs no introduction. If you have been around in or around my channel for any length of time at all, you guys know this is my one of my top melts from anybody, my top blend from anyone. This is Beauty and the Beast. It's sweet blackberries and magically delicious, and it's absolutely gorgeous. And I've been melting actually my band bag of this. Um, uh, almost all week or every other day this week but it's so good it's so comforting i just i have so much of it I so love anyway it. this is absolutely scrumptious if you value any of my opinions on fragrances in general um you would you would likely just love this one i want this one in a long lasting beautiful perfume yeah i could smell like this all day long so is that sweet blackberries and magically delicious beauty and the beast the best Okay, so you can tell I have a problem. <laughs> Hi, my name is Kim and I love Rosalie from the Twilight's collection. Hi, Kim. Um, anyway, <laughs> love this scent. And the reason why I went through all of these in the year is because I was getting worried. These are pretty old. They're from like 2018. I think I had that, some that 2017. Um, and you can tell that they're different packaging, which is fine, but they were getting a bit older and I want to use them. I was hoarding them and I've stopped becoming a hoarder um, I don't do that anymore. So with that being said, I would absolutely repurchase this scent. It is described as twisted peppermint and coconut cream pie, but it wouldn't say there's anything about 
pie crust that you could smell in this. It was really twisted peppermint, which is like a vanilla peppermint with the creamy custardy portion of the pie. It's beautiful. I love this one clearly. And at one point when she did have a lot of ready to ship on her website, this one was considered the most popular scent that she was selling at the time. I have no doubt about this one. So again, this is Twilight's collection in Rosalie. It's absolutely perfection. Continuing on the theme of Twilight's, the movie, and by the way, I have been to Forks, Washington, because when I where I used to live, it was only a few hours drive and a, and a ferry ride. Anyway, this is Emmett. So this is uh, woodsy pine and strawberry juice. Again, not a blend one would even think about. But this is just amazing. Uh, again, a beautiful balance of a freshy of the um, the woodsy pine and then the strawberry juice. It's not just straight strawberry. There's a sweetness. Like there is definitely sugar added to that juice, but it's dang good. And I melted this one in the bathroom. I tend to melt this particular one in the bathroom. I should mention. I keep forgetting. Twilight's. I mentioned. I, I melt everywhere. Anyway. I'll get back on it. <laughs> I love this one, you guys. It has been repurchased, will be repurchased in the future. Oh, I forgot I had two of these. <laughs> so this is basically the one I just spoke of here. So it's the same as pine and strawberry. So she just reworded this a little bit, but this is fantastic, you guys. I absolutely love the scent. Then we have the push and I've been there too. I have my sweater with it too. <laughs> uh, anyway, raindrops, sage leaf, orange peel fantastic love this one i think this would be a polarizing one i think you're either gonna love it or you're gonna hate it so i really love it and i melt this one in the bathroom because of the raindrops again it's that rain oil it's to me it rain oil does not work in everything but i find that in this with the sage leaf which is very surprising because i'm not a big sage person and orange peel that um, this works really, really well. So it has been a repurchase and it will be repurchased. Next up, we have a very uh, gnarly looking packaging, older again, this is Harley Quinn. This is described as pink sugar and blackberry jam and vanilla sugar waffle cone. This is a gourmand lover. Again, if you were like me and you love your gourmands, ooh, 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 ooh. I don't like chocolate in or gooey, gooey, ooey, gooey caramel in my home fragrance. So this is like just, oh, it smells so good, you guys. Um, this has been repurchased. I believe I ordered another one of these for Wax Wednesday as well. That should be coming in a bit. I love this one. It's so strong. Again, I, I'll reiterate again, you guys, these melts, you need one. Try one. And sometimes if you're in a really small space, cut that one little cube in half. Make it last longer and it'll save you money in the long run. So anyway, Harley Quinn, highly recommend if you're a gourmand lover like me, this just makes me want to lick the air. If you have a cold or you feel sick, definitely get Sheldon. I love having Sheldon in the my back stock because it's spearmint and rosemary. It just sort of helps you if you've got like a bit of a headache or like you got a bit of a head cold and you're just getting out from the head cold. But this is so good, you guys. So again, this is from Big Bang Theory, Bazinga. This is good old Sheldon and the Rock, Paper, Scissors, Lizard, Lizard Spock. Love this. This is one of my favorite shows too. So this has been a, a purchase, a repurchase for me. I probably would buy one just to have in my collection at all times. And then we have Leonard. <laughs> Wildberry Moose and Pink Sands. This is a repurchase of mine. And this was also in my very, very first purchase from Super Tarts back in 2017. Um, this is I've never smelled anything like wild berry mousse before. This is before Bath and Body Works was doing about wild berry mousse or anything like that. And the pink sands reminds me very much of the Yankee Candle candle called Pink Sands. What a beautiful blend, really, really great. Um, very uplifting, puts a smile on your face, that kind of thing. So I would highly recommend this. Has been repurchased, will be repurchased. From Harry Potter, I've got a few empties here. We have some, I have some Slytherin to talk to you about. So this is Honeydew, Blackberry, and White Tea. Beautiful, I love this one. I particularly enjoy melting this one in the summer months. Um, has been a repurchase, will be a repurchase. Hagrid was a new purchase for me in this Wax Wednesday haul that I purchased in technically 2019. This is shaving cream, mixed berries, peppermint, vanilla, and pomegranate. Gorgeous. I really love this one. Again, it's just something I put in the bathroom because that's shaving cream. I'm not a pomegranate fan, but I'm happy to announce I don't get a huge amount of that because of, I mean, you got some pretty strong hitters of peppermint, berries, and shaving cream. It's probably going to like, you know, tone it down a bit. 
So love Hagrid. So I highly would recommend this one and I would definitely repurchase in the future. My favorite chai tea, like it's a latte, chai tea latte. Now I'll explain in a second. This is my favorite chai tea latte scent. And I say that because it's not just a chai, chai tea without the cream. There is a creaminess to it, like a milk. I do not necessarily get the cheesecake, but I get as if I went to Starbucks and ordered myself a non-fat chai tea latte and I inhaled it. <laughs> and I just like sniff those spices, those cloves and the cinnamon and, and cardamom, all that stuff is just so good. And I love my chai teas. You guys probably know that already. So this has definitely been a repurchase, will be a repurchase. If you like chai teas, I highly recommend. Yep, I have a problem. <laughs> probably again, like the Beauty and the Beast, probably one of my top scents from all time, all vendors. Uh, this is Minerva. So two different packaging. Can you guys remember? Do you remember? These are the guards that guarded uh, Hogwarts and, you know, went to war at the very end. So this is Pink Sugar and Laundry and it's just so good. And this is one of those melts that I'm not kidding when I say if you have one cube in your warmer, as long as you don't become anosmic to it, so i.e., you, you know, you get immune to it, I guess, you will smell this for like a week and a half. <laughs> you will not have to change your warmer. Um, that's part of the attraction to the to me for this particular scent. It's a great blend. I do love this one in the bathrooms, but even when it is in the bathroom, I smell it throughout the entire condo. So <laughs> it's one of those few scents that just claws its way right through to anywhere, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'm all right. This is again, one of my top scents, of course, this has been a repurchase and it will absolutely be a repurchase in the future. We're gonna go quickly here because it's gonna be a really long video. This is used, this was a really large uh, loaf, like the full size loaves, um, which she hasn't done in a long time because it does cost, like, anyway, it's a lot of wax. This is mouse ears. This is iced lemonades and sweet lollipops. So this is from the family of Toodles. Um, again, I love this one, but I wouldn't necessarily purchase it as big amount again because I like it, but I find that the ice lemonade stands out amongst everything else. So as much as I like it, I probably just get a clam or two. Violet, this is described as peppermint, cotton candy, and blackberry. Very, very nice. I really do enjoy this one. Um, yeah, I would definitely repurchase. This again was a big loaf that I shared with a friend of mine. We did split this one. I had the full loaf of the mouse ears. Anyway, I really enjoyed this one. I would definitely repurchase this in a clamshell in the future. One of my favorite coffee scents, and it wasn't on that freaking Wax Wednesday pre-order. I was so sad, is <laughs> Predator. And it's described as cappuccino and coconut cream. So good. And my cousin used to play with the Nashville Predators and now he's with Buffalo. <laughs> so he's uh, number 50, or sorry, he changed his number uh, or they changed his number. He's number 44, Matt Irwin. So anyway, uh, but I thought it was kind of comical when he was playing for Predators. Um, I love this one. It's one of my favorite scents of all time. It's one of my favorite coffee scents. Like I said, I was a bit butthurt when I didn't see it on the pre-order for Wax Wednesday. So I would love to repurchase more and I would actually buy a full loaf of that one. Absolutely but it wasn't available. Clearly, I like this one. This one was a full loaf. Well, technically a friend of mine and I split it, Heather. Um, so I, that was a full loaf at one point. And then this was a band bag. So as you can sort of see the differences in size, the band bag and the loaves. So we'll sort of, I'll show you more about that in the future, but I wanted to show you both of these. So the jackal is described as blackberry preserved zucchini bread and toasted mallow. It's gorgeous, you guys, a great, again, fruity gourmand, very, very nice. I would love that in a perfume too, by the way, just saying, anybody, anyone? Bueller? Fake and bake, so we already discussed this. I've already told you what this one smells like. Again, if you wanna bake it before you bake it, to do it, cause this is exactly that. So this is a band bag size again. And so now we're into the smaller ones. So this is just another version um, from Super Tart. So you can do the clamshells, you can do big loaves, oops, and then the bam bang. Then next up we have Sentinel, which is herbal lavender, blackberry preserves, and marshmallow. Yes, yes, yes. Um, it's her blackberry. Um, the herbal lavender, it's okay, but the blackberry, yes. The marshmallows, yes. 100% would repurchase that one. Magneto, lavender, strawberry jam, vanilla, buttercream. Mm. Yum, yum, yum. Yes to this one. This was also a band bag that I finished. 
um, I would absolutely repurchase and have repurchased. This one is Lord of the Melts Mill Earth. Now there was a time when everybody was like, if you have migraines, get this. Uh, dirt, rosemary, and fresh mint leaf. Sounds weird, but it does work for headaches. But the problem for me was, is I didn't have one just out there easily. I did have migraines. And the last thing I wanted to do was go and sift through bins and bags and try to find this stupid bag. So it did take me a really long time to go through this one. I like it. I haven't repurchased it. Um, I think that's also something to be said too, if you're sick hmm, and you get like a migraines and you tend to reach for one scent, that's what you're going to, the scent memory will be of. And the last thing you want to do on a good day when you don't have a headache is melt that scent that you re might remember as being a bad day with a headache or something. So anyway, I, not to say I wouldn't repurchase in the future, just not anytime soon. This one's Rogue and it's described as pink sugar and coconut cream pie. Love this one. It's so good. It's so creamy. Uh, just so enjoyable. I, yeah, 100% re would repurchase in the future. Absolutely. And then we're going to just talk about, these are all pieces from her advent calendar that I completed in the year 2020 from the actual 2019, 2019 advent calendar. So I just have them. I'm not even going to necessarily describe them to you. Days one through 25. She does give you a 25th day. I'm not going to go through them all because um, this is going to be super long. But what I will say with their advent calendars is in the past, including this past year, there are one through 25 mil. A lot of times what she'll do is some of the most popular scents that have come out of this when people are melting them after they receive them uh she'll find out obviously what's most popular and sometimes they'll get turned into a regular scent just like this be named something and so on it wouldn't be named if it was like day one of the, it wouldn't be called day one she would come up with a name so rather i'm not going to go through all of these because there's quite a few um and i don't want to make this super super long but just know you guys super tarts is one of my absolute favorite uh, vendors. Um, I hope that when we move back down to Vancouver Island eventually and possibly look for a deployment to the United States because there is one not far away from where Super Tarts is that maybe someday I can go there and go in there and check it out and maybe buy a perfume because we can't ship the perfume to Canada, that kind of thing. So, cause she does make perfumes as well. All right, you guys, that is everything. Thank you so much for watching this. I know it was a long video. So thumbs up to all of you. Uh, as always, you guys be safe, take care and have fun. Bye guys.